In this video, we'll look at changing the reply to, the default reply to field in a ServiceNow uh, email client uh, template. So I'm here in an incident, and if I go and fire up an email, uh, we can see, and I, I displayed the from and the reply to, we can see the reply to is blank. This is a PDI, so there's no, um, there's no email turned on, so it's blank. But if you're on a regular instance, this is going to be your uh, default uh, address is going to show up in this reply to. Um, so you, if you have different groups using in here, or for whatever reason, you need to change the reply to, um, you're going to go to an email client template. Uh, so here I have one here for the incident table. And you probably know this already if you're watching this video, but email client template is uh, over here. Email client templates. So you fire one up for the table incident. And you can do your content here, your recipients here, the to CC, BCC, the sender uh, from. But where the heck is the reply to? Um, so you can do some Googling, and it doesn't seem to be in the documentation uh, it is buried in a um, in a community post somewhere, but basically the answer is it's here, but it's not on the form. So fire up your favorite uh, form editor and just add the reply to field. Okay, telling me to use form builder. I'm going to wait a few releases. I'm old school like that. Uh, reply to and... So we add this probably to the bottom. All right, now if we refresh. And here it is, reply to. So now you can just, you can use your regular text syntax if you want. Um, or you can use a, uh, like you can in the other fields, uh, JavaScript and current, whoops. Apply to, and we'll say, oops, let's get our keyboard back. Put that in there. We'll go back to our email client, fire another one up, and there we go. So a really simple uh, thing, just add it to the form. Why it's not on the form to begin with, I have no idea. But they make us go and uh, find... Uh, Community, obscure community posts, but uh, that's how you do it.